Hello, welcome back to the Watford Way. Today, unfortunately, I'm here to talk about yet another Watford defeat, this time coming courtesy of Con Coventry City at Vicarage Road. And I have to say, I'm very, very disappointed. In fact, I have to say, before the game even started, I had a lot of trouble even travelling to Watford. Um, so in the UK, there's been a lot of train strikes recently, so the trains were all messed up, a lot of the buses were cancelled. So eventually, I did make it to Watford for the game, and I was confident, you know, of course I was confident. We just won three games on the bounce. We just beat Cardiff City away from home. Very, very tough game, but Watford come through that um, quite well, I thought, in the end. And going into this Coventry game, obviously they've had a lot of issues at their club this season in regards to their ground and just the overall feeling around the club and, and its direction. But actually Coventry City, their game plan worked really well in this game. Watford largely dominated a lot of the ball and actually we did score quite early on into this game coming by Keenan Davis. Unfortunately, the linesman flagged, I believe, for a foul in the build-up to the goal because the goal wasn't actually offside. Um, I think Keenan Davis was tugging at one of the defenders' shirts for Coventry City. And that's why I think the linesman, um, you know, flagged it for a foul in the build-up to the goal. So I believe that's why that was ruled out. Um, and yeah, you know, Watford was showing a lot of promise, a lot of creativity, and we were creating chances, primarily coming by Ismail Assar and João Pedro down the left-hand side. That's where a lot of our play was focused in that first half. Um, and we got to half-time, nil-nil. Obviously not the result we wanted at that point, but I thought at, 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 that, at that moment in the game, half-time, nil-nil, we're at home, we're going to attack the rookery end in the second half. Yeah, I was feeling positive and I, I thought we could still win the game. Unfortunately for Watford, the Coventry game plan worked really, really well. And actually, I was really impressed by what I saw. Yes, in the league table, um, before the game, though, I think they were sat 19th or 20th. But they really, really impressed me, especially their number 17 up front. Yes, the defending for their goal was very, very poor on our part. I thought Hassan Kamara um, was way out of position, as were the majority of our team. Um, but it was a good finish by their number 17. And actually, at that point, they probably fully deserved it because Watford did not take their chances at all. As I just said, Keenan Davis, of course, had his goal ruled out in the first half. But Ismail Lassar missed an open goal. Joseph Hungbo went close towards the end of the game as well with a few good opportunities from set pieces too. It just wasn't Watford's day. And I think a lot of times um, in various seasons, you have games like this where you create opportunities and you have goals ruled out for offside. You might miss a sitter. Um, and unfortunately, you know, sometimes it doesn't go your way. So in fact, I was happy with the opportunities Watford created. And actually, I can probably put the result down to the, just the general fatigue of the Watford team because obviously we've had so many injuries. Um, you know, a lot of key players have been out injured. They've been playing a lot of games of players that have been playing. And there's a few players who did look shattered yesterday. I thought Kayembe, Jao Pedro, Keenan Davis, Ismail Assar, Dan Goslin. They all looked very, very tired. And I think that impacted um, the overall Watford performance. And obviously we've got two games now until the World Cup. We've got uh, Reading at home, our last home game for the World Cup. And then we've got Bristol City away. So two very important games for Watford. Obviously, going into the month-long break, you want to end that um, with good momentum and positive results. So fingers crossed on Tuesday night, Watford can pick up a good victory against Reading and then obviously head to Bristol City. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting game. You know, we played quite well at times, created enough opportunities to win, but Coventry's game plan works really, really well. So I have to give credit to them. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Please comment your thoughts down below. And hopefully I should be doing a vlog from the Reading home game on Tuesday night. So make sure you look out for that as well. Bye-bye.